What's going on guys, this is David here, and today I'm mixing it up, I'm actually uploading a gameplay commentary. Uh, most of, pretty much on my channel, you guys have seen nothing but clips and my mini montages that I put together, and today I want to kind of explain myself, why I'm doing what I'm doing, and uh, future plans. So first off, uh, how I feel about clips. Uh, clips to me, and YouTube are generally, I'm doing it for fun. That's all it is. Um, you know, I'm not trying to do it for money or anything. And if that kind of comes along, so be it. But it's for the meantime, it's all for fun. Uh, so all the clips that I post are generally stuff of that I'm proud of. It's just, you know, I thought it was sick, so I'm going to upload it. And you guys, just, I've uploaded, you know, those of you that have seen, I've uploaded various kind of of uh, clips. I've done Search and Destroy, I've done just regular pub stomp, and a lot of sniper stuff. And the whole, before you get into, the clips aren't that great. Sniping, I only started back in April, so I'm still just trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to, to get used to just the whole zoom in, snap back, and all that. But, you know, that's just something in time where the more I do it, the more I'll get better. So, I'm not looking for shortcuts on that at all. But how I got started, it was actually started back in summer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. So it started back in summer when, you know, I got sick. I got the chicken pox. And I'll tell you, at my age, if you get chicken pox, it's freaking miserable. So what I decided was to pass the time, since I was locked up in my room for two weeks, I decided to get an HDPBR and just start recording. And by this time, I had already started you know, filming, like recording clips and just trying to put stuff that I liked together and I thought it looked good to me and I uploaded because it's just, it's your work. You're kind of, you're proud of what you do. And, and that's how I kind of came to be on that. But be even before that, I played, you know, I started off with COD 4. That was a big game that I think a lot of people, if not majority of everybody started off with. And I got really into that game. I was playing a lot with my friends. Like we played almost every night, so like three in the morning. I remember one time we got on and we said we wouldn't get off until we lost, and we said that at like two a.m. and it ended up being five a.m. before we even got off. So, you know, those were the days where we're not a care, you know, was thought about. Now it's just more responsibilities, school, work. So can't be doing that as much and. It's to a point where I can't even do that anymore just because there's all the stuff in the games now and just make you rage so hard. It's I'm not that big of a rager. I just get pissed off and I get kind of frustrated and I like it's not like I want to break my controller of the game or anything, but it, I just get kind of annoyed. And you know, the first time when I died, I was actually on a 19 kill streak and as you can see, I'm running assault. I'm not I don't usually run specialists just because, you know, I don't, when I go into a game, I don't think, oh, go for a Moab. But once I died, I actually told my teammates in here, uh, Ricky Six and Red X Red, a big shout out to them, great players. I said, I'm going to go off on these guys. And that's actually how I got this gameplay. I just started going kind of Hulk. I just, just wanted to just keep killing people, try to get all those kills, just because I felt I was so close and I could have dropped one on them. But, you know, I'm just rotating, running around, you know, I start to, I start to control loading a lot just because once we had the B and C flag, that was the easiest point to uh, really control because they would just, they have either two ways. They either go out of dome and charge C or they go back into loading and charge, you know, myself and get the B flag and flank around. You know, in my opinion, that's the best way of attack. You push through loading, and then that way you can regain map control, just because you have the flank. But you can kind of see that the, the gameplay skips in and out because I'm using iMovie, and it's really janky where I can't upload a stupid 8-minute video all at once, so I had to use theater mode in MW3 and break it down, record it by 2.5 minutes, and put it up. So that's I apologize for that, but I'm getting a new computer soon, and... Uh, I'll be getting the full edition version of Zone, Sony Vegas, and, and I'll have all the editing tools for that. So, um, 
with future plans. So future, you know, right as of right now, there's about 11 days till Black Ops 2. And I cannot stress how excited I am for that just because of league play. I really wanted to get into competitive gaming and game battles was it was a way but I just couldn't get enough people that I was playing with wanting to play so with league play I'm hoping that you know it'll switch it up and it'll make it a lot easier for everybody to to get into competitive and to get going so that's where I'm really stoked about it um, as you can see they start trying to throw C4 kind of towards the middle just trying to pick up kills and that's just something where it pisses me off um, people just you know that's one of the things that annoys people most in this game C4 so my kind of pet peeves are people using sit rep and C4 and even though I'm a little bit of a hypocrite by using sit rep on here I only use it when I know that other people are using it so playing in the previous game I knew that people were rocking sit rep so in order to, to counter it, I had to use it myself. But mainly, I usually use, on all my classes, I'm using sleight of hand, not even sleight of hand, either scavenger or extreme conditioning, quick draw, and dead silence. And I have a class or two with sit rep just because we had, there are certain games where it's inevitable where they're going to sound horror and you can't, get, you can't get by it. But right here, I'm starting to push again because I was close and I was at 19 kills on assault and this guy one shots me again with a stupid M16 and I feel they buff that gun up way way too much because um, then it's like better than a type now and you have two burst guns and I understand from a developer standpoint you want people to use every gun in the game but you just can't help it some guns are just not going to be picked up and you know by by buffing up that much they've made uh, the two strongest assault rifles one burst so you know, anyone can pick that up and pick Stalker and just strafe with it. And that's what I'm hoping with competitive. It'll kind of start, you know, in Black Ops 2. I, I know at the beginning they probably won't limit everything. But as the game goes on, they'll start to limit all the OP stuff and have it super balanced. And I know Treyarch and David Vonderhaar have really, really stressed that where they want to make a balanced game to, to really go towards the, the competitive crowd. And that's their aim but the gameplay is going to wind down pretty soon we have about a minute uh, less than a minute left so I want to thank everyone for tuning in uh, more commentaries on the way I actually have some sniper stuff and that's kind of crap because I got the first shot on him he was aiming down the whole time and got me but you know I'm frantically searching for a kill and that's not going to happen but my next video I'm actually going to talk about claw versus scuff and that's kind of the, been the big debate recently, and I want to give my views on it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. That one's probably coming tomorrow. And I'm, you know, stoked to bring more more stuff for you guys. And right here, you see uh, Ricky Six on the kill cam, just in an intense sniper battle. Luckily, he had this mean head glitch. I'll call him out for that. But thank you guys once again. Tune in next time. And as you see.